Falcon Heavy is set out to launch in January with Mars as its destination and Elon's very own Tesla Roadster as its payload. What a surprising turn of event. If SpaceX succeeds in doing this, it would be the first private entity ever reach Mars orbit, listed right after NASA, the Russians, the European Space Agency, as well as the ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization. Considering the Chinese has failed in its first attempt to orbit Mars, the trip that's about to happen in January 2018 is definitely filled with challenges. However, it didn't stop Elon from being ambitious. I'm Lei, let me explain all about it in today's video. First of all, this launch is really ambitious. It wants you to achieve a lot of things at once. Two of those things particularly worth mentioning is reusing the upper stage as well as using two recovered cores as its side boosters. Oh wait, what? You don't, you don't know what side boosters are? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Let me explain about the rockets first. Perhaps you've seen rockets like this. This one in particular is a Falcon 9. And since 2010, versions of Falcon 9 have been launched 44 times. I don't want to jinx anything, but 2017 has been a great year for SpaceX. So far, it has performed 16 successful launches and three more missions are scheduled to bring the total number of missions in 2017 to 19. This is a huge deal because SpaceX's lack of experience has been a focus of accusation by its competitors. I am really glad to see SpaceX catching up so fast. With more successful missions under its belt, SpaceX will become the obvious choice for commercial launches and hopefully military launches in the future. Some more about Falcon 9. Its purpose is obviously sending things to the outer space, mostly to the lower Earth orbit and sometimes to the geostationary transfer orbit. The rocket has two stages, the first stage or the booster stage and the second stage. The first stage is equipped with nine best of its kind Merlin engines and the second stage is equipped with one Merlin engine. All of them serve a single purpose, which is to safely send its payload to the destination. With all the powerful Merlin engines, the latest Falcon 9 is able to send 22 metric tons of payload to the low Earth orbit and 8 tons of payload to the geostationary transfer orbit. Now that I've explained the basics of Falcon 9, I can finally go on to talk about Falcon Heavy. Remember the side boosters I mentioned earlier? Let me explain on that. In order to send heavier things to space, or to send things with the same weight further into space, SpaceX needs greater power. So obviously there are two ways to do that. You can either make a bigger booster for the rocket or you just tie a bunch of boosters together. This is what Falcon Heavy is. Three Falcon 9 boosters put together. Obviously the physics is more complicated than that, but this is all we need to know for the video. So side boosters are simply the boosters on the side of the rocket. And there you go. This is the vehicle that is going to Mars. Let me say that again. It's going to Mars. I mean, it's not like we have never been to Mars before, it's just that considering what SpaceX wants to achieve in the future, this upcoming launch could be a start of something great. Something truly great. For those of you who don't know, SpaceX has this plan of colonizing Mars before the end of the century, sending a power plant in 2022 and humans in 2024 to Mars. I've explained this plan before, I'll link it down below. If Elon's multi-planetary dream came true, this launch could be marked as the beginning of a whole new era. That's how important it is. Although the payload that is being sent to Mars this time is a Tesla Roadster, which is about 1300 kilograms, the Falcon Heavy has a much higher payload capability. Three times the payload capability of Falcon 9, remember? Falcon Heavy will have the thrust equivalent of 18 747 aircraft. It will be able to send 63.8 metric tons of payload to the low Earth orbit, 26.7 tons of payload to the geostationary transfer orbit. It is basically a beast, dwarfing any other rocket in service right now. Here is a payload comparison between Falcon Heavy and its existing competitors. Falcon Heavy is clearly more powerful. Now that I've explained all about Falcon Heavy, we can finally go back to the point I was making at the beginning of the video. The maiden launch of Falcon Heavy is really ambitious because of three reasons. First and the most obvious reason being that SpaceX has never done it before. 
Not only has the Falcons never escaped the Earth's gravity, which is a huge deal for space flight, SpaceX also has no experience in sending things 300 million miles away that will take seven months to be there. That's why even Elon is not 100% sure that the flight is going to be successful. But either way, he promised it's going to be exciting. As if the launch is not filled with enough challenges yet, SpaceX has decided to use two recovered boosters for the maiden flight. The booster 1023 from the TICOM-8 mission and the booster 1025 from the CRS-9 mission. Both are recovered boosters from 2016. Although theoretically, they should be as capable as new boosters, using recovered boosters is still in uncharted territory. That said, the decision does make sense. Since these two side boosters are expandable in the mission, SpaceX might as well use the old ones. Furthermore, what makes the maiden flight even more ambitious is that during the mission, SpaceX might want to try recovering the second stage of the rocket, making the entire rocket reusable. This will be SpaceX's first attempt to recover the second stage. If it succeeds, it will drop the price of space missions to a lower level, making SpaceX even more competitive in the space industry. It would also be really bad news for SpaceX competitors, like the United Launch Alliances and Air and Space. Last but not least, some of you guys asked me why SpaceX is building bigger rockets that has no use in the real world. What I want to say about that comment is that not only is Falcon Heavy a great rocket, it is also a very clever business decision. Although super heavy lift rockets have little advantage in sending commercial satellites to the lower Earth orbit and the geostationary transfer orbit, it will be proven to be useful for the future commercial resupply missions to the moon. NASA has this multi-billion dollar plan to build another international space station near the moon in the next decade. Guess who will be the best candidate for helping NASA? SpaceX with its Falcon Heavy and its big Falcon rocket will be the most capable and the most cost-effective candidate for those missions. This will mean billions of dollars of revenues for SpaceX for the years to come. If all of this, all of this does not excite you, let me repeat the mission again. Falcon Heavy is going to send a Tesla Roadster to Mars. Falcon Heavy is going to send a Tesla Roadster to Mars. Falcon Heavy is going to send a Tesla Roadster. Wait, what? Am I getting played off? What? This is ground control to Major Tom. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do it now. Also, what else do you want to know about the upcoming launch? Let me know in the comment down below. I'm Lei, as always. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.